you guys want to know how to get these Skyblock mods that I use, make sure to watch this video. Hey guys, Max here, and today we are back with a brand new video on Hypixel Skyblock. And today, guys, we are going to be showcasing the best mods on Hypixel Skyblock, which I use all the time. A lot of my subscribers slash viewers have been asking me, Max, what mods are you using? How do you get these mods? In this video, I'll be showing you the features of the mods, and I'll also be showing you how you can install them. Nevertheless, I want to say a big thank you to the creators of these mods which you can find in the description so make sure you guys go subscribe to them so the first mod i'm going to be showing off is actually called skyblock add-ons by biscuit this mod is absolutely insane i love the mod and i just want to say a big thank you for biscuit for taking the time to make this mod it's super duper useful so the first really cool feature about this mod is that it has a magma boss spawn alert so the way this alert works is literally it makes a really loud noise when the magma boss spawns it's super duper useful if you guys are trying to get the ember rod this is definitely the fastest way you actually can because it is super duper nice and i love it a ton the second feature is actually a drop confirmation when dropping items so let's say i want to drop something it will say drop this item again to confirm so pretty much you know i won't drop anything at all i have to drop the item twice for it to drop so that's super useful if you guys accidentally press the drop button then this is a mod for you another really cool feature which biscuit included let's say you have the ember rod in your hand and you right click it actually disables the ember rod ability from working so you don't destroy all of your chests and i think this is really useful dude because i remember when i was a noob i accidentally destroyed my chest by accident and i didn't even mean to but with this mod it doesn't even allow you to destroy your chest another really cool feature which they have with this mod is that let's say i'm farming pumpkins and my inventory gets full it actually lets you know that your inventory is full this next feature which was added by biscuit actually allows you to customize any of the settings which you want to have off or on so if i do slash sba that is the command to bring up the menu or for the settings pretty much if you look over here as you guys can see i can disable the magma boss warning disable the item drop confirmation you can disable the magma boss health bar there's so many different things which biscuit has added to this mod and i can't wait to see the future of this mod i feel like there's going to be a ton more things added also you can edit locations of the mana bar so you can move this around and stuff but um yeah i'm just gonna leave it as it is you can even switch the language if you want you can even add a warning color you can change the warning color you can change the mana text color so if i want it green i can change it green but i'm gonna leave it you know blue for now because that is just the best color for me but um yeah guys pretty much that is the mod the next mod i'm going to be showing you guys is a mod by pones and it is called hypixel skyblock exp tracker and this mod is super duper useful so let's say guys i want to go mine the trees over there but i'm not too sure how long i will need to mine for or how much xp i need till the next level let's go over to the tree right now and if i hit this once as you guys can see this little thingy pops up right now and it actually shows me how much xp i am getting per hour it shows me how many actions i need to the next level and it also shows me how far away i am from the next level so there's so many different things it even has a progress bar which is super duper awesome they have a little colored ring around here which shows you how close you are to the next level and yeah it's honestly pretty awesome so a lot of you guys might be wondering max how do i customize this mod to my own likings what do you guys want to do right slash skyblock mod and pretty much this brings up this little menu pones skyblock exp tracker and basically you can disable it or enable it 
Also over here, it has a position mode. If you guys click this, it changes the position of the mods, which is very useful. If you guys want to get your hands on these mods, you can go down below in the description and go over to their videos. Make sure to check it out, guys. Make sure to leave them a like and a sub because these mods are super duper helpful. They help me on a day-to-day basis and I'm pretty sure they will help you as well. So moving on to the next step, I will now show you guys how to install these mods if you don't know how to do that right now i'll be showing you guys how to install this mod so pretty much how you download the mod is by going over to the link in the description and you guys should definitely go subscribe to Pones because he worked super hard on this mod and you know you might as well subscribe to ski while you're there so what you guys want to do is you want to click this thing over here and boom there you go this is actually super safe all you guys want to do is click on Pwn Skyblock mod, if anything else does open up, then just close it immediately. And it says here, this type of file can harm your PC. You want to download it anyway, and it won't do anything to your PC. Trust me, it is super duper safe. Once you have downloaded this mod, what you guys want to do is go over here to percent app data percent. And there you go. It should open up a file. What you want to do from here is go into your .minecraft. You want to scroll down over here to your mods. And then you want to open up 1.8.9. So moving on from here, you want to just click into your folder. And I have all of these mods installed. This video hits 100 likes. I will be making a mod folder. The next step you guys want to do is click on your 1.8.9 mod folder. And what you want to do is drag the mod in there. So pretty much all you got to do is drag the mod in there like that. But I already have it. So that's how you install it. You also need to make sure that you have Forge 1.8.9. If you guys don't have Forge, that's the first thing you want to install. So I will leave a link down below for that in the description if you don't have it already. Once you guys have downloaded Forge, what you want to do is make a mods folder and then make a file called 1.8.9 and just drag the mods in here. So that's all you got to do. Now we're going to be moving on to the next mod. Over here, we have Skyblock add-ons. And this is super easy to install. We're just going to press here um download there you go uh, this file is safe and it's the same way how you install the other mod so what you want to do is drag it over here into your mod folder and there you go guys that is how you install it so that is how you get the mods to work and yeah that's all you gotta do guys super duper easy if you have any questions i will answer them down below so that is how you guys can install the mods i will be leaving a link to all the mods and all the creators down below in the description so make sure to go subscribe to them and show them some love they do actually really need it they're awesome mod makers man if you guys are stuck on any part of the video or you have any questions make sure to leave it down below in the comment section i will try to reply to you and help you out the most that i can but yeah guys hopefully you did all enjoy this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new without further ado guys i will see you all in the next video Peace. Roll, roll, roll to the ships, even though I shouldn't. AMDA next stop, new wave, new pace. Man, I'm pushing the pudding. Flip that, hold the feds ain't looking. Dumping a lab with a beat, then build up a spliff, then get to the cook.